So I got curious again and I wanted to figure out the best way to record uh, microphones that have uh, mini jack connectors. So I used a uh, Rode video mic, I used a Rode Smart Love, and I also used a uh, Boya Smart Love. Uh, Boya is a bit uh, it's a cheaper brand and it's quite good for the money. Uh, and this one is actually self-powered, which makes a bit of a difference in certain applications. Whereas those two, uh, they are not uh, self-powered. So I connected them to a few devices. I connected them to uh, Zoom H5 and I connected it to both the XLR port using a special adapter, which I will discuss in a moment. I connected it via the capsule. Oops. <laughs> uh, so there is a dedicated uh, mini jack port uh, in that microphone capsule. I connected them also to my uh, Behringer USB audio interface, also using this, uh, this XLR to mini jack adapter. And I uh, connected them also to a very small, fairly cheap external sound card, very popular. And I made some tests and here, it, here is what I've concluded. By the way, I've recorded everything to Audition CC. And uh, so the Zoom H5 was connected through USB port uh, using uh, ASIO drivers. And uh, this thing uh, was connected only using Windows drivers because my the ASIO drivers didn't work for it, uh, including ASIO for all didn't work for it. And uh, so the results were not uh, surprising to me, although yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, so there isn't much of a difference between how I record it. So whether I record through Zoom H5 or the audio interface, there isn't much of a difference. However, if I could say there was a difference, uh, I thought that the uh, dedicated mini jack port was the cleanest one, so least noise. However, the noisiest were uh, the ones connected in to here via this uh, adapter but they were also kind of the richest. So uh, it seems like I got extra better sounding sound, but that also introduced some noise. But again, the test wasn't very scientific, so it's um, up to you. You can listen and decide uh, later on. Uh, and it the same, so that was uh, regarding Rode Smart Love. So that was the first mic I tested. Then I tested the Rode Video Mic and the results were the following. The Behringer, uh, ASIO for all was a bit cleaner than actually using the uh, Behringer ASIO drivers. So I call them UMC because Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 or something. So uh, ASIO for all a little bit cleaner. Uh, the again Zoom H5 through XLR adapter uh, was the noisiest. Uh, was yeah, but a bit richer again, and the capsule. Uh, in uh, Zoom H5 was uh, possibly cleanest. So in both of those um, scenarios, I would probably use uh, the capsule as that was the cleanest thing. And that's what I usually care about. Now, uh, recording to this thing was obviously the noisiest. Um, first of all, it's cheap. Second of all, uh, I didn't have ASIO drivers available. Uh, but really the difference wasn't that big. It, it's still manageable. So if you need to record to something cheap, if you cannot afford uh, dedicated USB interfaces, they are quite cheap anyway, probably similar price to this. So if you're buying a, s a single one or, uh, but then obviously you would need an, an adapter. You can also buy a dedicated, a more expensive audio card, but I think this will do. Don't spend any money. This will do. Link below. This one is by Sweeks or something, uh, but there is a similar by, uh, what was the company? Uh, StarTech. I found it on Amazon as well, so I'll place the link below to StarTech. Uh, I think that quite many uh, brands uh, sell the same device, they're just branded differently. Um, now, I was getting a little bit uh, mixed results depending which port I connected to, so one microphone sounded better from one port and uh, one microphone in the other port. Now, from technical aspects of the whole thing, uh, what's important now, I want to talk first about this um, adapter, this XLR, uh, so mini jack to XLR adapter uh, that you pl can plug into any interface. Um, you need to have one that actually can transform or convert the 
plugin, uh, sorry, the phantom power to plugin power. Now, if you don't know, phantom power is a standard of uh, providing power to microphones or other devices. It's usually 48 volts, whereas plugin power is 5 volts. And these microphones, they don't have batteries, so they do require plug-in power. Um, uh, most devices, when you connect them to uh, the mini jack, they provide enough power to to drive them, uh, whereas many some devices don't. And in Zoom H5, you have actually an option of enabling plug-in power in the mini jack or disabling it. The same with phantom power, uh, you can configure uh, Zoom H5 to provide phantom power or not. So when you connect that um, jack, uh, that converter, uh, it will provide plug-in power at the end for a mini jack microphone. Now. A Boya microphone was the noisiest probably of them all and this one is self-powered, it's quite cheap, it's self-powered so it doesn't require uh, an adapter that converts um, phantom power. But generally I think it's worth spending a bit more money and buying something that converts it just in case uh, because, you know, the, diff the price difference usually, usually isn't quite big, you know, maybe, you know, 30, 40 percent more 30 percent more so i think it's worth it the cheap anyway this one costs like 12 quid again link below uh what else can i tell you uh, okay so generally boya was a little bit more noisier than uh smart love plus i cannot compare it to obviously road video mic because that's a very different type of a microphone uh, and my conclusions of the test is that, yes, the best one is a dedicated solution. So Zoom H5 uh, mini jack. So probably if you have Zoom H1 uh, or other Zoom or other uh, recorder, uh, that's also always a good option to use uh, the mini jack ports. But if you can't afford it and you need to use something like this, it's really good. And uh, obviously the last option is your onboard audio card. Usually they're not that great, but probably will give you similar results to, to this one, or maybe even better depending on your card. So whichever way you choose, it's probably good. If there is something wrong with your recording, if you hear that it's really bad, then obviously look for a different solution. But what you have right now, if, if what you have right now works and it's good enough, don't spend money buying extra things. And if you want to spend money, buy something much, much more expensive though. So if you have a good sound card in your computer or fairly good, and at the moment, most computers have fairly good sound cards, don't necessarily spend money on something like this. Buy something more expensive like uh, this Behringer uh, UMC interface, links below, or, or maybe Zoom H5 or something like this. It, it really pays off long-term. Uh, these expensive devices uh, make a difference and make things much easier, pleasant. They they work mo more often than they don't. So I've had lots of cheap um, devices, cheap equipment, and it's kind of good, but it causes trouble every now and then, this type of a trouble, that type of a trouble. And then I spend time troubleshooting and over the years it adds up and it's just frustrating. So it's better to save some money and buy something better straight away. Okay, and now, Listen to the results. I, I am going to play now some of the uh, some of the things I recorded, so you can decide for yourself. And please please uh, <laughs> please use the links uh, that I provided below, so we can both benefit from it. Thanks uh, for watching, guys. Take care. See you in the next video. I'm recording now to Rode video mic connected to Zoom H5, but this time to the jack in the front capsule uh, that comes with the uh, with Zoom H5. Uh, volume is set to six. The one set with the knob. So I'm speaking now to road video mic connected to zoom h5 via movo uh, jack to xlr interface uh, testing it now i think it will be very good equally good as through behringer or maybe even better we'll see and now a bit of a silence please
So I'm speaking now to Rode video mic around a foot away from me. Uh, it's connected to my uh, Behringer UMC interface via Excel, mini jack to XLR adapter Movo. Uh, let's listen to the silence of it. So now I'm speaking again to Rode Video Mic connected to Behringer UMC interface via Movo Jack to XLR adapter, and this time I'm using ASIO for all drivers instead of uh, original Behringer UMC drivers. So silence now. So again, recording through this ch cheap uh, USB interface. Speak specs or something. This is now Rode video mic. Uh, just to see if there are any, uh, uh, there is any noise because there was from the second port. This is the mono port, so hopefully it's fine. Now I'm recording to Rode Smart Love under my neck, connected to Zoom H5, the front capsule. Uh, the original front capsule that came with the uh, with Zoom H5. Uh, I think I'm quite happy with the quality. So for a moment, let's listen to a bit of silence. Okay, so this is Rode Smart Love uh, connected to Movo Jack to XLR interface or, or actually adapter uh, plugged into Zoom H5, recording normal kind of speech as I normally do. I think I'm quite pleased with it, so let's listen to the silence. So I'm recording now to Rode Smart Love on my neck uh, through bearing a UMC audio interface uh, through a mini jack to XLR Movo adapter. Uh, sounds good, I think, so let's listen to a bit of silence. And another test of uh, Rode Smart Love, this time connected again to uh, bearing uh, UMC via a jack to XLR adapter Movo. However, this time I'm using ASIO for all drivers instead of uh, original ASIO UMC by bearing drivers. So I'm recording now through a cheap USB interface and I've got uh, here the Rode uh, Smart Love and here I've got Rode Video Mic. How are they doing? Now I'm recording to Boya uh, Love Mic uh, on my neck uh, connected to Zoom H5 to the capsule, the mini jack in the capsule module. The sound should be quite alright although not great. I'm recording again to Boya mic. This time I changed the battery. It seems to be much better actually. Okay, well done, well done to me for changing the battery. So let's compare now the results. Actually, maybe it's not very bad at all. Let's check it out. I connected it to my... Uh I connected it to my... I connected it also. No, I connected them also to my uh, desktop uh, bearing uh, USB audio interface. 